Hi, today we're going to talk about clips and scenes in Ableton Live and how to use them to uh, build your tracks into a piece of music. So uh, as we've already discussed in class, um, you can use these individual clips to get different instruments to do different things. So for instance, here I've got uh, a pad sound called Analog, Analog Slow. I've got a drum, a drum kit called Bang Your Head. I've got um, a bass sound. I've got a clicking sound and a little melodic sound here. And each of these clips contains uh, different parts. So here's the pad sound. Here's what it sounds like with the drum kit. Here it is with the bass as well. Uh, to stop them all, you can push this stop button here. Uh, here's the clicking sound. And you can use any of these stop buttons as well, just to stop an individual one. And here is the melody. So all of these uh, in one row like this are called a scene. And if I want to play all five of them at the same time, I can press this play button here. That play button will play all five of them in one go. So now I want to start thinking about building up my song. Usually a song doesn't start with everything all playing at once. Often it builds up. So what I want to do is I decided that the pad here is the one I want to start with. So notice I press stop down here to stop them all. I'm going to start with the pad. So what we're going to do is click on that, command C, and click down here into a new scene, command V. And this is now the first scene of my song. I might even relabel this one, command R, start here. That's the first one. I'm just leaving a gap. This is like my bank of, of tracks, and this is where my song's actually starting. So I'm going to start with my pads here, and then I think the second one I want to bring in is my drums. So I'll click there, Command C, and paste that in there. I also want the pads to keep going, so I'll paste the pads in there, and I want the bass to come in as well at the same time. So my first scene will be the pads, and then when I'm ready, after one full time through, and I can watch this to see when I'm getting close. One, two, here we go. And so I've got that scene coming in now. Now it's annoying to have to copy and paste every time. So we have a little uh, keyboard command that's gonna help us. So let's say for the next clip, I wanna have these three playing, and I wanna bring in my clicks and my melody. So what I could do, for instance, okay, yes, I could copy and paste this whole um, uh, this whole scene, but I want to show you another way to do it. So this, if I've got my clicks there and my melody, and I want everything that's playing, everything that has a little green play symbol in it, to play at the, to play in my next scene, I click on the scene, the last scene I did, and the keyboard command is Command Shift I, and if you right click here, you can see it down here. Capture and insert scene, shift command I. So what that does, that captures everything that's playing right now and creates a new scene with it. So now, this is how I get my song going. I play the first scene to start with. When I'm ready, I start the next scene and it'll come in the bar after I press play. So I press play and here it goes. I'll let that play for four bars and I can watch this one. That's four bars long. Here is the next one with the melody and the click. And the next scene, now I want to I want my track to already begin to fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the drums. I want to keep the pads going. I also want to stop the bass and I just want the pads, the click and the melody. So now that the only ones I've got playing with the little green light is this first one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. So I click on here, Command Shift I, and I just inserted the new scene. And for the final scene, I'm going to get rid of the melody. So I'll stop that one and then Command Shift I, and there it is to finish. So let's have a listen to my track now. And what I'm actually going to do also is I'm going to stop, maybe stop the pads and just let the clicks finish it. And I'll just do that by pressing the stop button halfway through. Um, 
Actually, before we listen to it, the other thing is if you press tab on Ableton, this opens up um, arrangement view, which looks more like a traditional DAW, you know, like GarageBand or something where you have the different uh, tracks running from left to right. The way we populate that, the way we fill that with music is the following. This is, we use this record button here. That's what this is for. This record button is for recording into this side of Ableton. Before you use it, you want to right click on it and make um, sure that that start playback with record is not ticked. So right click on it and if it's not ticked, it's great. If it is ticked, click on it and it'll untick it. That just means um, it'll start recording. If it's ticked, it'll start recording as soon as you press record and you don't want that. So we're going to stop here. What it's going to do now is I'm, I'm in record mode and now it's going to start recording as soon as I start my first scene. And I'll show you that in a moment. So here we go. Record is, is highlighted. Oh, I'm going to start at the beginning. Record is highlighted. Click start here. And you can see now it's recording into this side of Ableton. I'm watching this little thing here. Here we go. One, two, three now see there i hit tab it's recording into ableton start my next scene next scene i might even go here now and And there's my track. So you can see it's all there. It's all grayed out. That just means that this side of Ableton is playing right now. But if I want to listen to what I've done, I just push this little orange button here. It'll disappear. There it goes. And now there's my track. And you can see what I've recorded. Oh, it's a bit longer than 30 seconds. So I should think about maybe cutting out a section because I want my track for this project to be around 30 seconds long. It's about 45 seconds long. I can work on that later. But now if I hit stop, it'll take the playback to the beginning. By the way, if I want to play from anywhere, I just click anywhere like that and that'll, that's where it'll start playback. And I can listen to my track. If I want to edit any of it, I double click and it opens up down here in the clip view. I could have probably stopped it there to be in the time. Um, also notice that the um, my melody here, this part, I'm going to S for solo, this melody. It uses uh, fourths and fifths. So I'm going from C up to a C. There's my octave. C up to a G, that's a fifth. C up to an F, that's a fourth, and C up to a G is a fifth again. There's also a B flat in there, that's okay. It can use other things too, but I want to make sure it uses fourths, fifths, and octaves. And also, as per the instructions for the assignment, uh, I've used uh, some delay. And you can see here I've used the uh, device called Echo on um, Ableton 10. Um, there's also the device called Delay from Ableton uh, from Ableton 10 as well. If you're on Ableton 9, it's just uh, Delay or Simple Delay or Filter Delay or something like that. Um, here's the sound. You can see if you can hear the delay on the melody. Hear it repeating there. And here on the analog click, you can hear the echo. Have a listen to that. That's the uh, uh, audio effects I've used in there. So I hope that's useful and I uh, hope you can use clips and scenes to your advantage.